Hey. Hi guys, it's Shayna. Um, I'm so nervous already. Just as soon as you turn on the camera, like you just get nervous. But, hi guys, it's Shayna. Welcome back to my channel. I know this is a little bit different. Um, usually I'm baking or cooking something, but I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I just thought today I would show you my collection, my Mac, make my wait, my Mac lipstick collection, and just show you the colors that I have and put it on for you to do a swatch. And um, yeah, let me know if you if you like this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I also love makeup, so I wanted to just film it and give it a try and see how what you guys think about it. makeup story is I have always kind of been into it. I always loved um, mascara and like eye stuff but when it came to my lips I've been shy most of my life. I was strictly Burt's Bees and nothing else. I hated lipstick. I hated anything that felt like sticky. I hated anything that smelled weird which I'm still like that today but about a year ago I got my, my stepmom convinced me somehow um, to try out my first lipstick. The first one I actually wore was Julie B by MAC. And ever since then, I have been absolutely hooked on MAC products and MAC lipsticks. They are my favorites. However, I am now branching out to like drugstore products to save myself a couple bucks. The first color I'm trying on for you is called Fresh Brew, and it is a luster finish, and I use it as a new. This color is called Hug Me and I also use it as a nude, but I use this one when I want a more pink undertone. And I really like it. I think it's really pretty. The next color I'm trying on for ya is Mocha and it is a satin finish. Um, it kind of looks a little bit matte when I put it on, so if you don't like that look, you can just put some lip gloss over it and yeah. <laughs> and this color is taupe. It is a matte finish, so it can be a little bit drying like I just mentioned. Um, if you don't like that, you can put some chapstick on or um, some lip gloss. Jubilee. This is my very first lipstick ever. Um, it's a nude and it's a luster finish. Okay, the next color you can kind of use as a nude too if you're my skin complexion, but it's not my favorite. It's kind of got um, cool undertones to it, so I'm not sure if it flatters my complexion well. This color is probably my least favorite. I would probably return it if I still could, but it's called Snob, and it, to me, reminds me of Pepto-Bismol color. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay, so now we're getting more colorful. This is Up the Amp by MAC, of course, and I love this color. It's purple, it's really vibrant, it's really pretty. I really like it. And this next color I consider a universal pink. It is called Girl About Town and it's also a vibrant color, which I think is really pretty. And the next one is called Vegas Bolt. It is like a vibrant orange color. I think it's perfect for summer and spring. This is one of Matt's newest colors. It's called Candy Yum Yum. It's a neon pink, and when it came out, it was all the rave, so I had to get my hands on it. My mom, um, she ended up shipping it to me from North Carolina because I couldn't find it anywhere. Thanks, Ma. I apologize if my lips are starting to look kind of rough. They're getting quite the beaten with changing lipstick colors, but this color is Rebel. It's like a deep, purple color and I love it. And Ruby Woo, this is my first red purchase and it is pretty much a universal red and most popular lipstick for MAC, I would assume. 
It looks good on so many different skin tones. So if you are trying to find a red, definitely give this one a try. And last but not least, this one is called Russian Red and it's kind of like Ruby Woo, but it's a little bit more vibrant and maybe not as drying on the lips, but it is still a matte. So that's pretty much my entire makeup MAC lipstick collection. For, um, my friend who messaged me, what I told her was that, you know, go play. Like if you can go to the MAC counter, go play and try it on. And if you don't like it, it's not the end of the world. Start with the safe ones if that's how you feel more comfortable. But when it comes to drugstore, which I can do in a different video, um, you can literally go buy as many products you want, wear them, try them all out, and you can return them if you don't like them. So it's not the end of the world, and it's supposed to be fun and enhance your natural beauty. Enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, and also let me know which color is your favorite, and maybe I'll see you